It's a great honor and a very rare privilege to welcome to this week's edition of The Connoisseurs two gentlemen who have become legends in their own lifetime. Universally admired as experts and widely acclaimed as the world's leading authorities on that great British institution, the sausage. <laughs> now first, I'd like you to meet Professor Ernest Rory Babastock Peregrine Wise, gourmet, cordon bleu culinary expert, Harrow University. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> and his lifelong associate, Mr. Eric St. John Aubrey Bartholomew Morcom, <laughs> assistant caretaker, Milverton Street School for Infants. <laughs> Renowned expert on school dinners. <laughs> Now, gentlemen, you're the world's leading authorities on the sausage, and we shall be humbly grateful for everything you can tell us about them. Now, here is the first sausage. What can you tell us about that sausage, gentlemen? Dead. <laughs> dead? Not dead. That sausage is a dead sausage. That's a technical term for a cooked sausage. Yes. Dead. I didn't know. A cooked sausage is a dead sausage. Oh, yes. I never did that. Do tell us more. Pork. It is a pork sausage. Bravo, that's splendid. Uh, can you tell us something else? British Rail? Correct. 1954. London to Darlington. No, 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 no. Doncaster? No, 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 no. Darling, Doncaster. Redford. 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 Darling, London, London to Redford. London to Redford. Or Darlington to Doncaster. Yes. Redford, Somewhere around. In that area. It yeah. is indeed a British Rail sausage built in 1954. Oh. Now, how did you know that? It moved. <laughs> Which is more than what our trains do. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, mm. can you tell us something about the skin? The, the what? The skin. The skin. The you skin. don't call it the skin. skin. The casing. Casing. The casing. I didn't know. Do forgive me. I'm not up in the professional jargon. Well, what can you tell us about the casing? You mean the skin? <laughs> that is inferior British Rail, 1954. Would never have made Darlington, Doncaster, or Redford. No, never. Or Redford, Darlington, Doncaster. Yes. Any of them. Uh, you see, they're, they're made to a special gauge. Yes. They are four and a half inches long, which is approximately 11 centimetres. Yes. And the girth, which is one and a half inches, which is approximately five centipedes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's rather a strange shape. It uh, is. Yes, yes. Well, there is a reason for that, you see. It's squared off. It's more squared than the actual round, normal sort. Oh, yes. Well, there is a reason for it. What is it? It's British Rail. Yes. Oh. Yes, I still don't understand. Well, the idea being is that when a train is going at speed yes. round the bend, it won't fall off the plate, see? <laughs> it won't fall off because it's squared up. I mean, the rest of the food falls in your lap. Yes. But that stays there. <laughs> and that stays there, yeah. And that, of course, was made specially for tunnels, going through tunnels. Yeah, that lights up in a tunnel so you can find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> Bravo, did it rain? How about this? Oh, a lot of people say. <laughs> that, that is a um, chipolata, or a cocktail sausage, or a uh, one bite. One bite. Now, you get two together like that, you can see the difference, you see. There you have what is known in the trade as a two Ronnies. <laughs> so it's good night from him and good night from him. <laughs> Just to make it a little more difficult this time, would you mind putting on your blindfold? Oh, oh do yes, we have to? Yes, do we have yes, to? Yes, yes, yes. It's all fun. It's more fun. exciting. Yes, yes, oh. <laughs> it is fun. <laughs> Are we ready? In your own time, gentlemen, please. Well, you'll you have to... Have you put your blindfold well, on? Well, I, I can't see you. No, I'm, I'm here. Are you there? I'm here. Oh, well, you'll have to guide yourself. I can't find the sausage. All right, wait a minute, I think. Oh, wait a minute now. Yeah, yes, I've got it. I've got, I've got the sausage. Ooh, yeah. bristle. No, 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 no. That's no, my no. finger. 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 That's his finger, you know. Yes. Yes, I can't yes. see the sausage, you see. Uh, oh, yes, I recognise this fellow. Oh, yes? This you know old... that sausage? Oh, it's an old friend. This is... Oh, good. One. I worked on the prototype. Oh, in conjunction? No, in Harpenden. 
Harpenden. The, the, the sausage yeah. centre in uh, Harpenden. Yes. Research yes. centre in Harpenden. Oh, yeah. another place. And there's one in Cumberland as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one in Cumberland as well. This is what I know. Yes, positive. Mm. The high altitude sausage, that is. That's Absolutely high. correct. The high altitude sausage. Gentlemen, yes. you may remove your blindfold. Thank you very oh, much. Thank you very much. much. Oh, oh my God, the oh. light. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, do tell us more about the high altitude sausage. The high altitude, is it? Oh, sorry, I thought it was altitude. But you see, those sausages, 68 pounds of those sausages, were taken on the second trip to the top of Mount Everest. Yes. Yeah. Mm. They took some on the first trip with, with disastrous results. Oh, disastrous. Oh, really? Oh. What disastrous results? Mm. Well, no, no, no. At um, <laughs> 23,000 feet, they fancied uh, some sausages mm -hmm. and they took them out and they exploded in their faces. Yes. Good One poor Sherpa, he lost four front teeth and uh, <laughs> a sideboard. And a sideboard, yes. <laughs> and he was carrying on his back at the time. Yeah. But now, gentlemen, we come to the piece de resistance. Ah, yes. There it is. Have a look. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, my God, I what? can't believe it. Is it really? It yes. is. Lord, oh, Lord, it is, oh. yes. Oh. What can I say about that? That is the Rolls Royce of sausages. A unique sausage. Mm. I wish I had that in my collection at home in the bath. Yes. <laughs> that is what is known as the famous homing sausage. Yes. A homing sausage? Homing, homing yes. Look, I'll show you. Mm. Go home. <laughs> yes. I yes. don't oh. believe I've ever seen anything like that. In Not my many life people before. have. Not no. many people have. Mm. That's yes. the piece of resistance. Yes, that is the piece of resistance. Yes, and also, it is known, of course, as the old British banger. Thank now, you. that's interesting. Why is it called a banger? I don't know. Ask him. Well, it was during the war, actually. It was the soldiers in the trenches, you know. The British Tommy called it the banger when he was fighting the 1418 war, you know, the Hitler uh, war, mm. fighting Hitler. Oh, yes. That was the yes, one. Yes. Why banger. exactly a banger? Well, it's, well, it's quite simple. I mean, if you uh, take the sausage over there and mm -hmm. then you take this fork and you jab the fork, uh, into the sausage. Oh, into the sausage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>